In this video, let's take a look at the timeline component from the MUI lab package. The timeline component is used to display a list of events in chronological order. Let's understand its usage with an example. Let's begin by creating a new file in the components folder. MUI timeline.tsx. Within the file, I'm going to create a new component. Now for a timeline view, we need to import six different components. At the top, import timeline, timeline item, timeline separator, timeline connector, timeline content, and timeline dot from MUI lab. Now for the JSX, begin by replacing the div tag with the timeline component. Within the timeline component, invoke timeline item component. Within this component, we nest the timeline separator component. Within timeline separator, we nest two more components. Timeline dot, which is self-closing, and timeline connector. Next, after timeline separator, but still within timeline item, invoke the timeline content component. Here, between the opening and closing tags, specify text. Let's call this city A. This is the JSX for one timeline item. Let's duplicate the timeline item and all the nested tags two more times. Change the text to city B and city C. For the last item though, we don't have to specify the connector component. Let's delete that. And that is pretty much it. If we now include this component in app component, MUI timeline, and take a look at the browser, you can see the timeline view. We have the timeline dot, the connector, and the text. Let's now look at a few props we can add. First, we can change the dot color using the color prop. On all timeline dot components, add color is equal to secondary. Take a look at the browser, and we have the secondary color as expected. You can also set variant is equal to outlined, and this will create outlined dots as you can see here. Now you can also change the position of the label using the position prop on the timeline component. Set position is equal to left. And now the labels are left aligned. You can also set position equal to alternate in which case the labels are placed right and left alternatively. Now, if you're interested in having content on both sides, you can make use of the timeline opposite content component. Import it at the top. And then as the first child within timeline item component, specify timeline opposite content 9.30 a.m. and we can add color is equal to text dot secondary. Let's add this to the other two items as well with text 10 a.m. and 10.30 a.m. If we now head to the browser, you can see the timeline component with a bit more context. Perhaps if you're building a transportation app and want to showcase timings for a train or a metro, 
this component is very helpful. All right, in the next video, let's take a look at the last component from the lab package.